How did these get broken? I don't know. I didn't break them. I didn't destroy any of his property. I tried to leave. I tried to leave the scene. Where was his roommate? In the living room, playing the game. What kind of game was he playing? Uh, Fallout, something like that. When did you first see his roommate? Oh, I, I know him. No, I know when him did you see time. him that day? When I, when I was let in the house by Orlando. And where was he? Orlando was <laughs> in the living room. And where was his roommate? In the living room. And who opened the door and let you in? Orlando. How many bedrooms are there in that apartment? Two. You went through the bedroom window of Mr. Hernandez's yes. room? Yes. And his roommate was in his room playing games? No, he was in the living room playing the game. How did you know he was in the living room? Because when I got there, he was there on the game. And when you went into the bedroom, you assumed he was still in the living room? Yes. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you what you told the police. Because after they interviewed him and you knew you were in trouble, you called the police. Because mm -hmm. you figured you were in trouble. And you said that Mr. Hernandez let you into his apartment and he told you to go to the bedroom and he would get her some money. You told the police when she walked into his bedroom, she looked behind her and saw Mr. Hernandez's roommate follow her and stand in the doorway. That's what you told the police. Mm -hmm. And Mr. Hernandez said to you he wanted to have sex with you and then he would give you money. No. And said she looked back at the bedroom door and she saw the roommate blocking the door by standing in the doorway with his arms against the door jam. You forgot yes. all about that. They were both at the door. That's not what you just told me a moment ago. You told me he was in the living room playing a game. Yes, he went to the living room. Before anything started, he was in the living room. But I didn't ask you when everything started. I asked you where he was. You said he was in the living room. Yes, you didn't tell me room. that he was blocking the door by crossing his arms, not letting Before you out of the bedroom. Before anything happened, he was in the living room. She said she pushed Mr. Hernandez and told him that that was not going to happen and she was going to kick his... She said she pushed past Mr. Hernandez and his roommate with minimal force and left the apartment to call the police. You just told me you went out through the window. I did go through the window. That's not what you told the police. That's not what you told the police. You told them you pushed past the bedroom door, pushed past both of them with minimal force, and left the apartment to call the police. Through the window. Yeah. Okay. Good. Can I see the damage to the window? And how much were these? Those are uh, 411 after. What? Uh, those were 379, 411 after tax. Leave him alone. He doesn't want to be bothered with you anymore. Okay. Now, you have out-of-pocket damages of $456. That includes the screen that was fixed. Yes. And the headphones. Yes. You're suing her also for an assault. Yes, I am. And I'm telling you that I'm going to award you another $500 for the assault. Okay. $956. Judgment for the plaintiff. We're done. Okay. Leave him alone.